Hey guys, Hook to Clash here, and today we're going to talk about whether Inferno Baby Drag Bat is a surprisingly new strong strategy that you can use in your wars. So today, I ran out on my Super Wall Breakers, and I was trying to think of which Super Troop I could use and get the most out of and try some weird new strategy that would actually triple. So I thought, well, the Inferno Baby Dragon hasn't been used that much in offense. Let's see what it's like with like a Drag Bat equivalent. So it'd just be Inferno Baby Drag Bat. So uh, I'm going to show you a few FCs I did today. And this, I, I kid you not, is the very first FC I did with it. I had no idea with what I was doing. Uh, not really contrary to the usual, but I mean, I had no idea what to expect either. I was just, you know, kind of going to treat it like a drag bat sort of thing. Um, so I use the king to funnel one side, plus he's going to get the enemy RC, which is nice. And then I use the queen up here, basically just to get the wizard tower and a few of the storages. The Tesla pops, which is nice. Um, and I'm just going to force the uh, Inferno baby drags. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Um, I think I'll just call it Inferno drags in from uh, 1030. So I put my coin ability there. She hasn't even created that good a funnel, to be honest. And I just put all the Inferno drags in the same spot. And it looks absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I can tell you, it works kind of ridiculously. So I popped the early warden ability, which at the time seemed like a smart idea. But the more I played with this, the more it was better to hang on to it to as late as possible. Um, to get through like the single infernos, the eagles, and especially the enemy heroes, because they kind of chew through the inferno drags. Anyways, I get a bit lucky that this blimp makes it to the town hall. I rage it, and it takes it down really quickly. And then I'm going to use my RC up here just to take out the Tesla farm and this wizard tower here. But as you can see, there's not much of the base left. I've still got five bat spells and four freeze spells. That I haven't even deployed yet, and there's just those two splash damages. Um, unfortunately, this ice golem is not going to tank that wizard tower, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. I just put all five uh, bat spells on the center of the scatter so that the scatter shot can't shoot it, and I'm just going to put three freezes on one wizard tower here. Uh, probably only needed two of them, but at this point I was just laughing too hard. I couldn't believe this strategy worked. It wasn't something that I genuinely thought would work. Um, but at this point, I'm just starting to think of the possibilities. Like, is this better than drag bat? Is there certain? Is it only certain situations where it will be better? Um, so we're gonna find out here. Um, as you're gonna see in chat when I open up again, I'm not tripling every hit with it. It's not broken whatsoever, but it's definitely usable. And I, I will think about using this in my wars. I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna move on to. The next text, so you can see a few fails there. That 95 was a triple, but have a look at this. This hit is just ridiculous. So yet again, I'm going to start from the far side of the base. And one thing I figured out with this, it's absolutely necessary to get down the eagle as soon as possible, especially when you're kind of spamming all the inferno uh, drags close together and they have such low hit points. They're kind of squishy like that. You need to get rid of the eagle as quickly as possible because it does so much damage. So I'm going to use my king over here, queen over there. She gets an air defense and whiz tower, which is obviously nice. And then just yet again, just in a line. No special way of deploying it. Just get them down in a line. And you can see they're just going to swarm the base. Um, just bring a few loons. Hopefully they tank the sands. In this case, they did not. But oh well, you got to live with that. And then the rage down to get through the eagle. The blimp, and I'm just going to wait on this ward until I get every single Inferno drag in it. And look at that. Perfect. Now that multi, that air defense are all useless. That scatter is shooting my Inferno drags, but it's doing nothing. The blimp just makes it to the town hall. Um, rage over the enemy queen. And then the RC is going to come in for this scatter here, which is kind of perfect. Um, but look how many are still alive. A lot of them are low health, but like... These Inferno Drags just do enough in most situations. They're tanking that Wizard Tower, which is perfect, so I can start the bats. The RC is going to get rid of the Air Expo and the Wizard Tower as well. And at this point, there is no splash damage left on the base, and I am sitting there with four freeze spells trying to figure out what to do with them. Um, if this was a war hit, I would probably use them on the Teslas just to be sure, but because it's an FC, and who doesn't want to swag four spells space, honestly? Um, yeah, I swag four free spells, and 
Yeah, I did not expect to be swagging four free spells on this attack. It's kind of the reason I've started bringing six bat spells as well. It's because I'm often finding I'm not needing a use for four free spells. Um, and we're just going to show you one last triple here. This one I started to get a little too confident. You can see I've changed up my army composition to 17 baby drags and five balloons. I'm just testing this out at this point, seeing how, you know, viable it is and whether just bringing 17 is just the way to go. And honestly, it it worked. I still recommend the fifth, uh, the, the uh, army composition I showed you earlier, but this can work. Um, yet again, just in a line, looks ridiculous. It's just a row of green and brown, but uh, I can tell you it's strong. Um, that rage spell and the warden gets me through the enemy queen, the scatter, and this single... Um, as you can see, I've got the RC down really early, and she's going to get rid of the Wizard Tower and the Eagle over there, which is lovely. Um, the Blimp takes out the Town Hall, and like at this stage, there is not a lot of the base left, and we are like a minute into the attack. It's absolutely ridiculous. RC ability is about to go off here. She gets rid of the Single and the... Uh, and the eagle, and then the bats are going to come down. I'm going with six bats at the moment, and look how many inferno drags are left up at the bottom of the base. Like this is, this is unbelievably wrecked. It was crazy. I'm, I don't know what to say at this point. Like, it definitely has its uses. Obviously, I haven't used drag bat on these bases, so I will probably start doing that in the next couple of days, see if it's actually stronger than drag bat. But I honestly think on this sort of base where it's a bit wider a funnel, that the Inferno baby drags will will do better just because just because there's more of them and they're it's you know not as devastating when they split as wide. Um, as you can see there, I have so much left up at the end, even my queen. And there you have it, guys. I'm going to start using this in Legends. And uh, if it works well, you will see a Legends video in the next couple of days of just me spamming it in Legends and watching it triple. Um, like I said at the start of the video, I don't think it's the strongest strategy ever. It's not broken at all. But it's fun. And it's something a little different. And it's always nice to, you know, experiment with these super troops and see what they're really capable of. Especially in the Inferno Drag, because it hasn't been used that much. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, obviously subscribe, give it a like, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.